Governor Hochul's subway safety plan is drawing criticism with one advocacy group saying it will lead to racial profiling. All right, Fox 5's Morgan McKay joins us live in studio with what the group suggests Hochul should do instead. Okay. Morgan. Steve and Natasha, this group of advocates say they would like to see less cops and a larger investment in mental health initiatives and affordable housing. But others disagree, saying that cops in uniform on the subway is exactly what is needed to help people feel safer. This will inevitably lead to a rise in racial profiling, harassment, and abuse. It has been a week since Governor Kathy Hochul launched her controversial subway safety plan, sending around a thousand National Guard members and state troopers to randomly inspect people's bags in the subway system. And some are pushing back. Sending the military, the military, to the subway. I, I don't even understand why we thought that was going to make sense. 67 advocacy organizations and 23 elected officials all writing a letter to Hochul condemning her plan. Hochul defended her decision to send additional law enforcement to the subway system after a major spike in crime at the beginning of the year, saying that riders feel safer seeing officers in uniform on the subways. Crime in the transit system is still up by more than 13 percent this year. But advocates say that instead of spending money on more cops, additional Additional funding should be directed towards mental health initiatives and affordable housing. New York City public advocate Jamani Williams calling out Hochul for, quote, lazy leadership. You can even look at the governor's own words to show how theatrical this was. This criticism of Hochul's plan has come from both sides of the aisle, with the NYPD chief of transit also tweeting last week that the subways are not, quote, a war zone. However, that criticism is not shared by everyone on the city level. Mayor Eric Adams praised the presence of the National Guard and there. state police. Uh, I think their uniforms are cool as hell. You know, having them being there, standing in the subway system, people like seeing it. Now, President of the New York City Transit Authority, Richard Davey, also said that he is supportive of how the plan is working. When asked if additional law enforcement should be a permanent fixture in order to keep crime down, Davey said the real problem is repeat offenders. I think it rises and falls when recidivists aren't kept in custody. I mean, that's the, that's the problem. But for those career criminals or folks who require, you know, have acute mental health issues, we get them out of the system, I think we'll be in very good shape. And Hochul's office getting back to us in response to these organizations writing her letter. They pointed at past comments the governor has made that this is not about targeting one group. These bag checks will be random. And Hochul is investing $20 million toward additional mental health outreach teams. Steve Natasha. All right, Morgan, thank you so much.